This is Mr. Smith, and here's an editing tip for OpenShot that didn't make its way into the Crash Course video, simply because that video was getting long as it was. So, if you have imported a video clip into your timeline in OpenShot, you have the option of right-clicking or clicking on this little arrow right here, and going over to Display, and you've got two options here. Show thumbnail can be useful, but the one that I always pick is Show Waveform. And when you click that, it's going to take a little while to generate it, especially if it's a longer clip. But then you will see a graphical representation in these little blue squigglies of the audio of that clip. So you can tell I was speaking a lot more here. My volume went down over here, etc., etc. A lot of videos will start off rather silent. That's a good place to put the title. It's a good place to add in some music where you're not going to have additional dialogue. For this particular recording, I know right off the bat I wanted to start with saying, hello, this is Mr. Smith. As it happens, there have been moments where there was just a little bit of lag between when I hit the record button and when it actually started recording. So instead of saying, hello, this is Mr. Smith, instead it started off saying, hello, this is Mr. Smith, which is a little annoying. So I usually take a deep breath, tell it to record, count to two, and then start talking. Useful practice. It's similar to counting down before you say action, for example. Now, I can get rid of this pretty easily. Normally, I would have to listen to it to know exactly where the red line of the playhead is and then cut there. But because I know I'm being silent until I start speaking right here, and I don't want any of that, I don't even need to use this tool. I can just go in and cut right here, and I'm good to go. Trimmed. That is also useful for later on if I've got multiple takes. Anytime I realize I've made a mistake, every single time I realize I've made a mistake, I pause. And that silence in the recording is a cue for, hmm this might be a point where I want to do something about this. And I can cue that up properly to decide if I need to trim it or not. You should still listen to the entire thing before and after you edit it because mistakes can get through. But looking for a large spot like this for trimming where it's relatively silent is a lot easier to do than trying to line the playhead up with right where you maybe stuttered or had an um in the middle of your sentence or anything like that. So short video this time, but really important tip that I hope you find useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.